Tiger Lily Squad. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? You know she was coming on. What's poppin'? 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 Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, Tiger Lily Squad, gang, gang. How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? I feel like I ain't sing that song in a minute, but it's okay. It's okay. We back. I hope all is well. I hope you guys are surviving this uh, Mercury retrograde because it's not only in Mercury, it's in Jupiter, it's in Pluto, it's in like six different planets. We just gonna think positively, obviously, because the other day whole dag on social media shut down it's just a lot but um in today's video i will be talking about the pros and cons of styling my hair i've noticed uh some things over the years um and then i kind of noticed it with these but let's get right into it if you didn't see how i created this look well, it's not as fresh as it was. Um, I'll put a picture or something here. Stop this video, go to that video, go watch that, go check that out. Okay, so I have things written down. The for, I'll go with the cons first. Let's go with the bad and then end with the good, shall we? Great. So the first thing I would say is moisturizing my hair. Oil is not moisturizing, but I can oil my scalp freely. That's no problem. But as far as spraying it, when you first get your hair done, especially like curls, you really can't spray it till probably like a week after the hairstyle because the water will like take the curls out, duh. And then also water too causes frizz. So your scalp won't look as pretty as it did um, in the beginning of your style. But I think at this point, at like the two week mark, which would be number two, you're kind of over your style already. So it's like, nah. so um, con number two will be like, you're kind of over your hairstyle. Like for me, my hair is short. There's really not much that I could do with it at this stage in the game. So for the most part, it kind of just lays flat like this. For the uh, Not flat, but it kind of just lays like this. I can probably uh, do like two um, puffs or whatever on the top or one in the middle. Um, I could probably do a couple braids in the front, but it's still hanging in the back. Um, so yeah, at this stage, it kind of is what it is. But I remember when my hair was a little longer, uh, if I would get my hair styled, I was over it in like a week. Like I was tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. So I guess that comes in like... When I tell people like you're not ready for locks because if you gotta switch up so much, I guess that's my switch up. Like I can't be in style that long, like for real. Um, I would also say that when I was doing this, um, which would be number three, I had some breakage and it was because of the tool that I was using. So the perm rods that I was using have like little grooves, like little, um, they're not flat they have like some some teeth to them and so when you are wrapping your hair when it dries the hair has already kind of formulated to the perm rod so then when you're taking it out if you're not careful with how you're taking it out you can rip your hair out and a little bit of it did like come out a little bit but not nothing od because i knew the perm rods that I was dealing with. Speaking of that, I need to go on Amazon and buy some better ones. But I've had those since my long locks, so I was just like, whatever, child. But I would say clips and um, like lock jewelry and perm rods, depending on which ones, all those type of things can cause breakage on your locks, especially if you don't take them out uh, properly. 
So let's talk about the pros. So number one, with styling my hair, it definitely tames my hair. I ain't gotta worry about it sticking out all over the place or even worry about doing it. Listen, I wrap my hair at night, wake up in the morning, take the wrap off, bada bing, I'm done. So it definitely helps to tame your hair when you are locking it. I mean, when you are styling it. Number two, it actually, depending on the length, it stretches out your hair. I don't think it did does depend on the length. I think any length, it stretches out your hair because even when I used to do the, like the braids in the front, I would take those braids down and it would just elongate my locks. So I wasn't getting that thick effect like normal, but it elongated it and make it look a little bit more longer than what it is at the current moment. Number three, I would say it uh, it obviously switch up your look. Like I was saying before, uh, with a con, you get bored with your look. But when you style your hair, it switches it up. It switches it up uh, from what you have regularly on an everyday basis. And then I would say number four, you get heck of compliments. Like it doesn't matter what I did to my hair, I always got compliments, even when I didn't even style it. I would just color wash I would color it, wash it and just keep it moving and people enjoyed it. So I guess that would be a style coloring it. But if you're a person who loves a little <laughs> hey says you look cute type thing, um styling your hair will get you that. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It was super short, super cute, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how I was feeling about my style. Um, we are, I think, about a week into this style, so the curls are definitely dropping. And it had to do with Dallas because it decided it just wanted to rain sporadically out of nowhere, and I got a little wet. But you know, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. If you guys want to see any more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave in a comment box below. Any videos you want to see from your girl, and I will see you later. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the